Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at proving triangle congruency. So we have the problem given AD intersects BC at point E, AB is parallel to CD, and AB is congruent to CD, we need to prove that triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDE. So the first thing we want to do with this problem is state the obvious. We were given that line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD. And the reason for this statement, that information was given. So we can make a notch right above AB and CD to indicate that these two line segments are equal in length. So next we were given that AB is parallel to CD. These two line segments are parallel. So we have line segment AB is parallel to line segment CD. And once again, the reason for this, this information was given. So now with triangle proofs or any other kind of proof, when they give you information saying that a pair of lines are parallel, this is usually an indication that you're going to be looking for a pair of congruent angles. So in this case, we're going to use the alternate interior angles theorem. And we could state that, from one, we could say that angle A is congruent to angle D because we have parallel lines AB and CD being cut by the transversal line AD forming alternate interior angles A and D. So statement three, we have angle A is congruent to angle D. And the reason for this, we're using the alternate interior angles theorem. And in parentheses, I'll just write transversal transversal AD because we stated before that the parallel lines were AB and CD but transversal line AD forms these alternate interior angles A and D. So now we could make another similar statement. What other angles, oh and also I'll label these to indicate that they're congruent. So we have angle A and angle D are congruent. We could use the alternate interior angles theorem again, except now we're going to target angle B and angle C. So we could say that angle B is congruent to angle C, and the reasoning for this, once again, is the alternate interior angles theorem. This time I'll abbreviate it. Except now, the transversal is line BC. So notice how parallel lines AB and CD, when they're cut by transversal line BC, they're going to form these alternate interior angles B and C. So we have transversal BC. So now it follows that triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDE. And the reason we could use to support this claim, we're going to use Euclid's angle side angle condition for triangle congruence. So we have the angle side angle condition for triangle congruence. And now the way this postulate works, Sometimes triangle proofs can be confusing because we don't know what we're looking for. But when we do these triangle proofs, in this specific case, angle side angle, this condition for triangle congruence, we need to look for a consecutive combination, a consecutive angle side angle combination in both triangles that are exactly the same. And in this case, we could say, well, we have angle A in this triangle and we have angle D in triangle CDE. Then we could, we're using side AB in triangle ABE and we're using side CD in triangle CDE. And finally, the last angle we're using in this angle side angle combination would be angle B in triangle ABE and we're using angle C in triangle CDE. So this would be the angle side angle combination 
we're using in both triangles, which was exactly what we were trying to do during the proof. We stated that they shared a pair of congruent sides, then we showed how these pairs of angles were both congruent, so then we were able to build this angle-side-angle -angle combination in both triangles, and we already showed they were congruent, so that's enough information to prove triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDE. Okay, well this is going to conclude this proof on triangle congruence. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.